Hey guys, this is Franz and finally I'm going to show you how we can create the mockups for our portfolio website. So if you can still recall on our past episodes, the two episodes uh, we've created there, the site maps, the wireframes, and the stylescapes or the mood board. So if you're still new to this series, I suggest you to watch those two first so you can follow along onto this portfolio website mock-up or creating the mock-up for our portfolio website using the Adobe XD. So as you can see here, I already created the mock-ups for, for our portfolio website. So we will just recreate this one on a blank canvas using Adobe XD. So I'm just going to show you the homepage that I've created based on our wireframe and um, the sitemaps that we already did uh, on the last episode, the episode one. And of course, the stylescapes that we worked on last episode two. Okay, so you can follow along this um, episode three three so the uh, the assets you can download those one on the description below so you can create this one on your end using a Ado using the adobe xd of course so here's the home page so let's let's play this one so as you can see of course our logo name so we are going to use juan de la cruz and the pages or the tabs for our menu so the home uh, the portfolio services about and the contact so here on the hero page we have here some images that will represent your um your work or your case studies and of course the headline that we're going to change later once we develop this using our through wordpress and some description the call to action button that will of course redirect to the portfolio page and here on the second section we have here the recent work so this will be going to be a um the blog posts uh, representing your case studies okay and then here we also have the feedbacks or testimonial coming from your past client so if you're a newbie or if you're a beginner and it's your first time working or creating a portfolio website so i suggest to ask your friends your families to uh, give you a feedback uh, to your work it's it's not necessarily um the feedbacks coming from your client so you just ask around for your loved ones or your friends to give you a a feedback that you can use on your of course on your website or on your portfolio website then lastly will be your footer part or the bottom part of every pages so the tagline here and the headline and another call to action button which is the schedule a call that will redirect to your contact page then we also have here the copyright and your social media links so currently we have the linkedin the facebook for your facebook page and instagram maybe you can add behance durable and so on okay so let's start working on the home page on a blank canvas okay so we are going to start um designing this home page so click on your adobe xd click um, new and here on the web let's select the web 1366 which is the base um, for building a website mockup okay so we now have this clean and blank canvas so let's just rename this as home page okay so let's just i'll just transfer this uh, finish mock-up on my second monitor as our guide of course you 
you can't see it because it's on another monitor <laughs> okay so so here you can see on the left side our uh, different assets category so colors character styles and components so we will just add our colors here starting with the first one this is the black but yeah so you can add colors here i'm not sure if there's another workaround in adobe xd but this is what i usually do when adding a um adding a color asset so on here on the appearance on the fill so paste the color code enter and on the plus icon here so just click this and there you go so we now have our color um, one of the color assets that we're going to use so let's just remove this one okay so another one which is the white so same thing then add so i'm just gonna skip this one and uh, fast forward so we can add the the um complete colors okay so now you can see we now have the colors here the um with the, we're going to use for the call to action some highlight the some um a gray grayish color uh, white and the black so i'm not using the um the original tone of black and yellow to have some transparency okay so now we're going to have um we're going to add the character styles or the typography so just copy what we're what we've used so montserrat um bold and then regular and then the light so to add the um to add the typography so let's you're just going to click the t or for the text so let's say sample and let's choose Montserrat say 50 50 is what we're going to use as the headline for most of the parts of the mock-up 50 so that's going to be bold and the color would be here okay and then to add this as one of the assets for the character style so you just have to click the plus icon okay so now there you go so we have now the monster at 50 point or pixels or whatever <laughs> and then to add the another one so let's say so let's just use 25 for the description but usually it's 40 50 25 for the sub headlines and then 18 or 16 for the small texts so for now let's just use 25 as a secondary or the smaller um font or type so this will be regular okay and then just click character style yeah. okay so you can add all of the points uh typography points there but but um i usually like edit it um inside the canvas so if i just wanted to to adjust the text so just go ahead here on the right side and change the font size okay so let's just remove this one and for the components um you can uh, download the assets and then you can just um drag and paste it drag it on here in the component section so i have here the logo name so okay of course you can see it it's it's white but we're just going to click the component just see the logo name and you cannot you can just delete it for the meantime okay so currently we have the logo as one of the component and we will add more 
coming from the folder that is on the description below so let's just go ahead and oops, let's just go ahead and create start creating our home page okay so start with adding some guides or rulers so it's 60 and you can also um add a grid for the whole canvas so it's like more of a guidance for the margins and paddings so i'm using a 12 columns 16 76 and 139 for the values so you can just copy it here okay and usually to avoid this distraction i just uh lessen the transparency here okay so let's add starting with the logo name ah ah no 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 sorry about that so we just have to add a rectangle for the color background color of our menu okay so that would be the this one the zero five zero four oh one value okay and then we're going to add the logo name here okay actually um actually this color for the background color would be the grayish <laughs> there okay so that match the our um the finished uh, mock-up that i did before okay so let's add the um, menus the home and home from from home to the contact page so the value is 15 um 15 pixels for the font so let's add here say home and let's just adjust this to 15 regular and the color would be the white but since this is the home page or the active page of the website we are going to um use this color okay so let's just align this on center perfect then we'll just copy paste this one so this will be portfolio and the color would be white so another one portfolio services copy paste um, about copy paste again and contact so i'm just gonna reposition this one or adjust the menu here yeah okay that's perfect so we now have the menu or the header so if you play this one to see the preview so we now have the logo and the menu or the tabs or the pages so next would be the background of the hero of our hero section so another rectangle okay so let's just um remove the border and fill this with the same color of the header so we are going to let's just group first this header so let's click the so let's group this one into header whoops rename this as header not header header okay and then let's lock this up 
Okay, so now we're going to build this um, hero section. Okay, so let's just start with adding a headline on the center. So let's build a headline. You can click um the what's this called the something like a paragraph or yeah the fixed size auto height auto width so you can adjust the box of the text then let's position it as centered and if you if you still have no words or descriptions for your Mac up so you can download a plugin called Lorem Ipsum or you can just uh, download from some uh, third party or some websites that supports uh, Lorem Ipsum or that uh, provides Lorem Ipsum texts. But since this is Adobe XD, Adobe XD has a plugin for the placeholder, um, placeholder texts. So I already downloaded the Lorem Ipsum but you can uh, search it on browse plugins so you can browse and select different there are tons of plugins available in adobe xd so you can type lorem ipsum and yeah so this one is what we are looking for the lorem ipsum and as you can see i already installed this one okay so now we just have to click lorem ipsum and fill with placeholder text. So there you go. Oops. So since we, this is just a headline, so we only needed um, a two, two lines. So let's just cut this one. Let's see. And... And this will be a 50 points. And color white. And it will sit on the middle part. Okay. Then second one will add a description. So what I usually do is just copy paste this one but since a description would have um, words many words so let's add another text so let's just say sample or so let's add a box lorem ipsum insert text okay so maybe two lines and this will be 25 points hold on i think this is and color white as well Okay, let's see if, if I did it. 25 regular. Okay. So we now have a headline and a description that is seated on the center part of the hero. Okay, then the next one would be a call to action button. Since we're using a blank canvas and we don't have the uh, our guide to the call to action or the button that I did on the stylescape. So let's just create a new one. And this will be color the orange one. No borders. Um, 100. 
and let's rename this track my work mm -hmm. and this will be bold okay see okay so maybe let's add some shadow i'll just turn off the our guide for just a sec okay so let's add a shadow this the b is for the blur so maybe so the y axis I think that's yeah, I think that's perfect. Okay. So maybe let's oops. Let's recenter everything here. Okay, cool. So now we're just um let's go ahead and make this CTA button as a component. So click the plus icon and we now have component one or let's rename this as CTA. So we can reuse this on the different pages that we're going to create later. Okay. Then, so here as you can see, we have the different imagery. So we're just going to copy this to what I did and we um, some like a collage of your recent portfolio okay so on the so you can drag the images from the folder that i've uh, added on the description below so let's use the the orange uh wall so you can just drag it here and just let's just resize this one okay let's do it okay maybe smaller mm -hmm. okay then let's add some shadow Shadow. Um, let's blur it. Subtle blur, blur it. Okay. And of course, lessen the transparency by sixty percent. Cool. Then we should add um, more. So the shoe one. Of course, thanks to uh, Unsplash for for these amazing images. And as you can see on the document, I didn't rename it to give credits to the. Um, to the photographers <laughs> yeah so thank you and splash okay so let's just make this smaller um okay this is enough so let's add some shadow again blur Okay. Whew. Okay, so now we have the hero section. Okay. The next one will be the uh, second section. So you'll just adjust the um the canvas. So let's just drag this down. 
Okay. But before that, um, let's just um group this and rename it as hero section. So hero or hero, just hero. Okay. Then here we'll just add um, we'll add recent work. I'm not sure right there. Okay. With the black color and light so light wait for this one so let's just check what i did by here so it should be 16 pixels okay and then we will add um, three columns or three boxes. So no board. So for the meantime, let's just use a placeholder color, which is the gray. And the shortcut for this one is to have a repeat grid. So let's click repeat grid and drag it all the way here. Okay. So as you can see, it's not equal. So what I usually, um, so what I usually do is to ungroup the grid and adjust it. So there you go. It's now equally in size. So let's have some margin of thirty or thirty-five. Let's use thirty-five. Okay. And then let's just turn off the grid. I usually get annoyed with this grid. <laughs> I'm um I'm used to used to these um lines or rulers instead of instead of grid. So you can just drag some rulers here and just turn off the um the grid layout. So that's what I normally uh, do. I'm not sure for the others if they are used to uh, design with a grid. So it's it's some sometimes confusing to the eye. I'm not sure. So let's just turn off this for a sec. Okay, and we'll just use this straight um, straight line as a guidance. Okay, and. So it's it's a blog post so there will be like a title and a description so here let's like project project title so this is six no, 20 and semi bold so 20 semi bold Semi-bold or semi-bold, what, whichever, whichever you prefer. <laughs> okay. And then, of course, description. So, this description here. So, it will be 16, 16 pixel regular. Let's have a 15 margin. And we're going to adjust. So let's use a Larem Ipsum fill. Insert text. Mm, okay. So maybe it's too long. So let's cut this one. Okay. And we're just going to copy paste here for the other two. There you have it. So we have a recent work blog post. So later after we complete this um, homepage, we're just going to swap this placeholder rectangle or square to the official um, imagery. Okay. So let's move on with the add with the 
other section which is the which is the um, feedback or testimonials up to the footer. Okay. So let's have a text again on the center. Let's narrow it down. Let's widen this box. Um, should be twenty five and regular as regular weight. Okay, then let's fill with lorem ipsum. Let's just add a quotation for. Okay, let's just center this one and adjust our margin. Two five, okay. No, it's too close. Two thirty five, okay. Maybe we can just adjust the width. Thirty-five. Great. So now we have we now have a testimonial or a feedback, and now we are going to add the footer. But before that, again, let's just group this one. So we are organized. So let's group and rename this as recent work. So since this is just a soloist. So we now have one element for the feedback and of course we are now we we don't have to we don't need to um group this one okay so lastly the footer so let's start by adding a rectangle as the background And we're going to use the same color we did on this header. So it's propor proportion. So the grayish. Okay. And we can add here the tagline, but we just have, we will copy just, you will just copy this recent work. Oops. And okay, so recent work color is white, so maybe 90. And let's just copy this one, so it's just a shortcut, okay? And let's put this here, and of course, it's okay, so maybe 15. Okay, but let's adjust the font size by 40. Okay, great. And lastly, add a call to action button here. Let's say here, schedule a call. Great. And we will now add a copyright that will sit here on the left bottom part. So let's see. All, all rights reserved. One, one de la Cruz. Usually, you can add 2021 um, before or after all rights reserved or before all rights reserved text. But for now, let's just have, this, have it this way. Okay, and then 
let's add the social media icons here. So uh, let's drag it. Oops. Social media icons. So let's start. So let's drag those three here. I think LinkedIn should be first. Um, is it too small? Uh, I think it's okay. So LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. Awesome. And let's add this as a component. Social media icons. Okay. I see. Let's address the margin bottom. No, not this one. Okay. By 70. And we'll adjust our canvas. Okay, great. Okay, so there you have it. So we now have the testimonial and the footer part that will sit on every pages. So let's preview it first. Okay, so we have see the hero section, the blog or for your case studies or your recent work, the testimonial and then the footer. So, and this is the great or the easiest part would be to drag the elements or the images. Okay, so next one would be the shoes. And the last one would be this one. Okay. So there you go. So we now have the homepage map for our portfolio website. So now we are going to create the portfolio page. So what I usually do is to copy this whole canvas. So let's just click homepage and copy this one into another one so let's rename this as portfolio portfolio okay and then let's unlock first the header so let's turn this into orange and make this white because this is the active um page Okay, so, so here on the hero, let's just delete this since we're, of course, we're not going to use this hero section for the portfolio, portfolio page. So let's delete this one and let's have another text here. Let's say or we can just copy recent work and rename this portfolio so this will be like a tagline and um 690 oh uh, let's have this 13 pixels because this is only a tagline and we have we will add a headline for now let's just say portfolio headline let's make this oops 25 bold Okay, 
let's just see if this is correct okay 30 bold it's too oh we okay, 15 margin okay and we will add um some some short description okay so we now have the headline for the portfolio the description of the portfolio and we're now going to add your blog post or your case study articles so maybe we can reuse this one later or no yeah i just use this one later so for now we're going to add a we're going to add two rect or two square here and then we are going to mask this one for your for the images so let's just use a gray one for the meantime with a um, 60 margin okay so let's duplicate this one here um maybe okay and of course we are going to we are going to have the title which is the project title so maybe we can copy this one and put it here and adjust the size by 20 which is already 20 and we oops what happened and let's just copy this description here and put it here okay and let's just copy this one for the second article and let's remove this feedback and let's copy this too and paste it below okay so now that we have your recent or the blog page actually this portfolio page is like your blog page but instead of some any or other categories or categories for the articles this will sit as your portfolio or the case studies posts okay so let's just change change this uh square for the official website uh, i mean official images so let's use let's use first this one this one and what other the orange ring and the orange wall okay so simple as that so we now have the portfolio page so now we are going to create the portfolio post or this is will this will be like a single post type of your of your um blog or article so this it will be like the most interesting part of this uh, mock-up because of the way the way it will uh the way of the um layout or the design which is which is interesting so let's just have a quick um quick pick of this portfolio post or the single post type so let's preview this one okay so we have of course the headline uh, i mean the, the tagline which is the category of your case study so it will be web design or logo creation logo design branding then we have the headline or the project title 
the description so this will be like a summary of summary of the work you've done or the this case study then here will be um the mock up of your of your design maybe if it's web design you can create a mock up for the different layouts of the pages which um you can download tons of um free mock ups on web okay so the second one will be the process or what you've done here on the case study like um uh, research wireframe creating sitemaps something like that so it's not necessarily have a a long um, text or a long description maybe a summary will do then these images will be like a representation of the process uh, you've done maybe you can have like a um a snippet or some photo shoot of the sketches or the screenshot of your of the website the before and after something like that and then of course the result or the the end result of the or the outcome of the projects that you did on the client then some maybe some uh, summarize of how you interact with the client um the feedback of the client or maybe if you if you want it to be specific the roi of the web of the website the before and after and of course you can show here the different images for for your project or like say website you can um upload or you can add the image of the mobile responsiveness the desktop or for the bigger screen the different pages design of the website so that will be your portfolio single post or the art case that the article of the case study okay so let's go ahead and recreate this one and i'll show you how it should be done okay so let's go back here then as i've told earlier the quickest way to have or to add another canvas is to copy and paste the recent um, canvas that you did so copy paste let's just rename this as portfolio single okay and then let's change this into web design or this will be the category of your case study and the project project title and the description so to make this quick i'll just copy and paste the the text so let's just move this out of the canvas first and paste this okay so same font size same 30 okay let's see oh okay so this one will be 40 instead of 30 and let's adjust the margin let's make this 15 okay and we're going to have a background for this first section so let's add a background similar to the color of the header let's make this gray and we're going to move this here and of course let's just change the color of this into white okay and we will now add a rectangle here that we will going to change later let's make this 60 and for now let's light gray 
Okay. And then let's maybe adjust this. We will now add the second section, which is the process. So let's copy this tagline or maybe let's copy this headline and then the description. Copy paste, then drag it below and change the color to black. Then here will be process. But the font size will be 20. Okay. Then this one will be twenty five as well. Or let's just make it, I think, twenty. Since twenty five is, I think, too big for. For the second sections unlike this one this is, this is the kind of like a hero section so it's okay to have a bigger uh, description for the one for this description and this one will be like maybe a maximum of 20 or 18 or 16 okay so process will add Two, two squares for the process images. For now, okay, copy paste. And let's adjust. Okay. And let's move this below. I think let's adjust the length and move this below. Okay. And let's just copy paste here. And also you can notice that whenever we drag some elements there will be like this this pink guide so it so it's will be like a quick equal margins or paddings so it's it's more easier to to make this equally propor proportion so 80 okay and let's call this the result okay and we can copy this and paste it below. Perfect. And too much margin, so let's make it 160 and adjust here. Okay, perfect. So So now we're going to add the images for this um, single post. Again, you can download the folder or the images on the description below. So you can just follow along on this uh, mock-up creation. So portfolio single post. Um, I don't know what we did we use here. So let's use this one. So yeah, just like what I've said ar earlier, you can create a mock-up with similar style of this one. So it's a layer of your, like say web design, it's a layer of pages um, organized into a collage, something like that. So you can download free, um, free mock-up uh, generator online. And then here, let's have this one and this one. Of course, thank you, Unsplash, for this amazing um, 
photos or images that you can download for free and then the the result will be like like this building um, this doodle and this one also if you the mask works this way um you can um position reposition the images so you just have to double click and just um posi locate it or position it on on your chosen position <laughs> so yeah okay so i think we're missing a shadow here so let's just add a shadow let's see i think it should be above and add some blur so let's check if i okay and i think we should have add more here i think no yeah so now we are going to create the services page so here's the quick pick of the services uh, page that i did before so this is what we are going to recreate so services let's preview this one so same pattern services as a tagline the headline for the services a short description and then we also have here some illustration of the um kind of services you will offer so web design logo design and branding maybe you can add more social media seo then we have the headline or the title of of the kind of the kind of services then a short uh, description or if you can be detailed as you want and then on the second section will be your recent work of course a services should a services page usually have the uh the gallery or like the articles of your case studies so they can easily um check instead of just going to another page so this will be um ux wise this is going to be uh more preferred compared to jumping into another like say uh they will click the portfolio page and then they uh they will browse the um selection of the articles of their of your case studies and yeah so it it's better to have a recent post or gallery that they can see here on the services page i hope i made sense about that so yeah so check my recent work view more then this view more will will directly go to your portfolio page simple as that okay so let's exit this one and let's create this on our on our on a blank canvas so i'm just going to move this on my second screen okay so let's remove this okay so same same way we are just going to copy paste this and let's rename it services and then here let's make the services tab orange and the portfolio white because this will be the this is the active page okay then let's remove this background and let's change this into black let's remove this since we don't need this anymore so services this will be services uh, headline and this will be 30 and this one let's just make it two lines we don't need super like long description for this one 
Okay. And based on our mission, I've based on what I've created for the services page. So we have three box, three three boxes with rounded corners. So let's create a box. And for now, let's have this gray. So we can use a repeat grid. Okay. Then ungroup if you want, then adjust. And we can have 10 pixel or maybe 20. 24 the corners 20 and 20 okay and then we will have for now uh, we can have a placeholder for the icons so okay here and then the headline or the the title of this services or, or of the service so let's just use this one copy this one and adjust the font for 18 pixels okay so let's say web design And then maybe um, let's have a short description. Description. Of course, this will be maybe 14. Let me check. 16. Let's use. Oops. Let's use 16 pixels regular. and let's have a text box and use the lorem ipsum plugin perfect okay so let's see 16 19 so let's center this three okay so let's copy this and drag this on the second box. I think it should be 35. Let's check. 35. Then let's copy paste. Drag. 35. Okay. So I think this should be colored um, this one and let's make this white perfect so oh ah uh, we've missed the shadow so let's just add shadows blur this one so I'm just gonna check what I did on the shadow so 16 23 16 the 16 is the uh, y axis 23 is the blurred so let's 16 and 23 16 23 okay and now let's go ahead and delete this and let's just copy it uh, copy this one let's say check my recent work okay and we will have three columns 
And of course, we're going to use the repeat create. So it's more equal. Ungroup and adjust. Okay, and then you're going to use CTA here on the middle part and rename this as view more. Awesome. Okay, so now let's go ahead and change this placeholder round or placeholder circles into their actual illustration so you can see the um, services icon so let's start with the web design then the lo logo and branding so i downloaded this one in from flaticon so you can go ahead and use their free of course uh, you can um, credit the the owner of these um illustrations or you can just buy a premium one if, premium ones if you want so web design i forgot to change this logo logo design and branding Okay, great. So I think we are done. Oh, I see. Check my recent work. Okay, so let's add your. Let's add some images here. Okay. And of course, let's move this up. For the footer one twenty and adjust this. Now we are done. Okay, so now we are going to create the about page. So here's a quick pick of the about chat about that we are going to design so let's preview this so about me the name your name juan de la cruz or from um for me francis scholastico and then your brief um description of yourself of course it's best to have a um portrait of you that is more artistic kind of way or more professional but but um, just make sure that it's not like a one by one or two by two, like 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 an ID in in, in your school or in your as as like when you're um, an an employed person in the company that you have like a plain <laughs> whatever a plain shot of yourself. So so yeah, yeah, be artistic of your of your um, portrait, okay. So tip here um, for amazing shots, um, you can go in Unsplash or in Instagram or Pinterest and search for portrait or yeah, kind of portrait, black and white portrait. And you can just, you know, um, um, copy the position of their, of the, copy the position of their self and, and yeah, so so basically you can just um shot amazing um selfie or you can ask someone to to sh to shoot you and you know and edit it in, in photoshop or any free editing um apps in your phone so yeah so just that's just a quick or like a short tips in um shooting yourself uh, as uh, having a uh, portrait for your website okay so here of course your you can add your social media icons 
Then you can add the work history if you have, but make sure that your work history is related to what you are offering to clients. Don't include those ones that you're like, you work in a fast food company and now you're offering web design or development. It's not related. So avoid those um, not related work history in your portfolio to avoid confusion coming from the client. Okay. So work history and then you can also add here. I forgot to include um, logo logo clients that's what i called it logo client so you can add the logo of your previous um clients or previous companies that you've worked with so like say if you work under nike wow <laughs> or adidas something like that so you can just um add it add it here and of course this is your this is the about page you can also include um some feedback coming from your previous uh, project okay and lastly of course the filter so that's so this is what we are going to create now so let's exit this one okie dokie so let's copy and paste and rename this about So here will be the orange, the white, then this one will be about me, the name, Juan de la Cruz. For my foreign friends here watching this series, Juan de la Cruz is like, in your version, in US version, it's Jan Doe or Jane Doe. So we have Juan de la Cruz. Okay. <laughs> A brief history. Okay. So Juan de la Cruz. So we don't need this anymore. So just delete this and delete this. Let's extend this and move this below. Okay. So to make this quick, I'll just copy the text that I've used on the finished um, about page. So let's just copy. And I think, yeah. And I just say 40. So the portrait will be on this uh, side. So for now, let's have, yeah. Let's have a placeholder box. Mm. Okay. Hang on a sec. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, we're going to uh, add a shadow maybe later. So after that will be the work history. So we can... Maybe we can copy this one. Mm. Say 255 and let's say work. It's wrong. Work history. This is going to be 20 semi bold. Semi bold, semi bold. I'm not sure. <laughs> Whichever you prefer. Okay. And then maybe let's just copy this one. And drag this across. Yeah. Maybe about 80%. Okay. 
I'll just copy the so it's longer. Okay. Don't forget the period. And we will add the logo images. Let's use the repeat grid. And ungroup, adjust. Okay. And then the oops. the next one will be your testimonials. That way it's quicker. So let's adjust maybe um there. there. Okay. And Let's adjust the filter and the canvas. And then let's change the let's drag, of course. There. And we can now add the shadow okay i think this should be below and blur let's add more i think that's it and this should be the hero or the first section will have a background color of gray. That is, I forgot. Okay. And we can reposition it below. And let's turn it into white. Okay. That way, the shadow is more visible. Okay. Hmm. So this should be 30, uh, 40 instead of 30. Let's see if I, okay. Ah, yeah. I forgot this one. So let's drag this so social media icons here. And reposition it here. Okay. Let's, oops, I think. We should um, adjust this. One ten, yeah. Or not? Let's say ninety, ninety-five. Okay. So last um page that we are going to create is the contact page, the super important one, the easiest to make, but it. The easiest and the most important uh, page um, of your portfolio website since uh, this is the page that the client were going to contact you okay using the form using the form or the information that you're going to add on this page so let's preview this okay so let's preview this contact page so, of course, the tagline, which is contact, let's talk, or reach me out, something like that. And then a short uh, information. If you have a office, then you can include the address here, or some directions, or just a short um, description of this contact page. Then follow me on my socials would be your social media icons. And then on the right side will be your contact form, which we're going to build through WordPress and Elementor. Okay. So here, and of course the footer part, but, um, basically, um, we can also, um, we can also opt to remove or hide the footer for this for this contact page since 
um, the purpose of the f- this filter or this call to action button is to directly um, go directly um, jump into this contact page but since we are now into this contact page then we can just remove this um, remove or hide this one in this page okay but yeah for the for this for the purpose of this mockup let's just remain this as is and we're just going to uh, remove this on the on to the development um, face okay so yeah so now let's go ahead and create this on a blank canvas so again we are going to use this copy paste then rename this as contact so turn this into make this orange make this white oops not that one white then you're not going to use this um portrait and this as well then let's have this black let's have this contact let's use let's talk and i think this is 40 pixels okay then maybe we'll use this okay and let's let's copy this follow me on my socials and let's move this up and i think we should position this on the middle yeah okay and we can now add a placeholder form starting with the name so it's a placeholder so let's just use the light gray maybe this is a name your email address message and of course the submit button just use submit and let's adjust this okay and let's position it in the middle so we let's remove this since we're not going to use it and position this here Okay, so there you have it, the simple contact page for your portfolio. So I didn't realize that this tutorial will take a lot of time but I hope you learned something new and this will be like a helpful guide for you in creating the mockups for your portfolio website. So on the next episode, we are now going to develop this mockup 
using or through WordPress and Elementor page builder. So that's it for now. And if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. And I hope you can consider subscribing to my channel for more upcoming videos. So see you in the next one. Bye!